sometimes the kid says, well, I already did it, boys. And you gotta explain to them why you wanted to do it over and over and over. Like, yeah, we all do. It's just a practice thing. It becomes natural when you go through the, the whole process because you're gonna be constantly getting drawings. Like I said, eventually we're gonna go through a whole separate class to go into to get the templates. So when you open your drawing, you open it into your template, and the template will have all this settings done. I mean, that's like a, that's like a, somebody throwing tools to you, and then they'll go right into your all your shelves that you already built, and they're ready to go. You know where they are. You don't have to unpack them and see what they are. Now they're over there. So. I think you're going to have to change the color so it shows better when you're doing this. See my coin, it's bigger now, it's probably about two and a half big. So those columns are two foot wide. So that's my coin. Uh, now, we're talking about, okay, well, I don't know what the point is, right? I mean, I know that's a column, so I know that's the same line of the column. But uh, I want to be able to read the other, be able to see the elevation or something that I know what that is. So when you click on your point, you highlight your point. See how it highlights that? This this highlight is telling you, okay, you have highlighted a point. And if you go uh, right click on your mouse, it gives you a bunch of uh, a menu of what to do with that object. And so, you see where it says point group properties? Click on that. And you're gonna notice one thing. You're gonna notice that on what it says point label style, which we already went through, is saying it's a standard. And it has all the things that we went through. We, we made a green, and we said that we want our label to be uh, pink, right? And then geometry, I'm sorry, the marker, we want it to be uh, uh, two inches big. Uh, and, uh, and also we want it to show uh, an X with a circle in it. And then our rotation angle is zero. You can always change that rotation angle depending on your drawing. For this purposes, because we are square with the world and these are local coordinates, we're gonna leave it at zero. So where you have the, the X or the plus highlighted where it has those four different um, symbols, that, that's gonna be what's inside that circle. You could have changed it to any one of those. And, <coughs> like, that, can I click on that? Yeah, you had. Okay. When you okay, change different. I go, the, the, uh, I go here, and then I click on that. And then yeah, any of those. Yeah, yeah, those yeah. Are, those are the ones that I highlighted. Those are the ones that I'm using. Because I, if I click on that, I see that. Yeah. I click on that, that shows on that. So you either have a square or a circle for your outside box, and then inside is those other four symbols. Mm -hmm. I, can, I can make a square. You know, typically people use squares for control points. Uh, but for stakeout points, I like to leave it around. Okay. 
So, right. Or I can, like I said, I mean, a lot of this, these things, bear with me, a lot of these things come to my habit of how I'm going to do this. You want to develop your own mess. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best way to describe it.